530 police are looking into a, a possible hate crime after two people disrupted a church service while they were celebrating pride in Enfield. It happened yesterday. Police did find the two men. Channel 3's Dylan Fearon spoke to the chief and the church's pastor. He is joining us live in Enfield with the latest there. Dylan. Well, Mark, Aaron, police in Enfield are investigating tonight. The two men are banned from the church, banned from this property until further notice. If they come back and there is an event here Wednesday night, they'll be arrested. I am thankful that they are sending people our way. After his service was disrupted yesterday, <laughs> Pastor Greg Gray knows security at houses of worship is important. Those feel like they're supposed to be our safe spaces, and when something like this happens, it feels like a violation of our safe space, our home. Something did happen. Gray was in the middle of a sermon during a pride service at the United Church of Christ. Two men interrupted Gray and started screaming, going against the service. Mental, emotional trauma violence is still a thing. It's that's still a real thing. And so many of our people are experiencing that kind of aftermath to to this event. Enfield police tracked the two men down and gave them a trespassing notice. They're banned from the church. But is it a hate crime? Police chief Alaric Fox isn't sure yet. The two men didn't have weapons and didn't threaten physical violence. The police will be talking with the state's attorney's office. If there is a criminal offense, it would be a disorderly conduct, a breach of the peace. We'd have to look into the applicability of the hate crime statutes. The church has a service and vigil Wednesday to talk about what Pastor Gray is calling unacceptable behavior. I wouldn't want to reach into specifics, but I will have officers present on Wednesday. Pastor Gray doesn't expect issues Wednesday, but is glad police will keep churchgoers safe. Things like this cannot, absolutely cannot make us suspect of every visitor that walks in the door. Now the service and vigil is set for 7 o'clock Wednesday night inside the church. We expect a lot of people to be here, including town leaders. We're live in Enfield tonight. I'm Dylan Fear in Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Okay, Dylan.